It's windy and cold out there today, and we just might see a real snowflake. But even if we don't see a real snowflake, today our project is creating our own snowflake, and we can do that by using a jar like this and upcycling to create a beautiful snowflake candle holder like this. So if you want to learn how, stick with me. My name is Kara, my channel is Crafty Recycler, and we're going to learn how to do this today. So I got the idea to do this because last year when I got this jam from Aldi, I really thought this was such a pretty glass shape. And I said, you know what's it remind me of? And I said a snowflake. So I held on to it and I cleaned it up. And that's why this year I decided to create it. Also, I had these lacy things still around from another project, these um, lace doilies. And so I thought, well, they need used up. And as any crafter knows, and uh, comment below if you could feel the, the struggle is real on this one. But um, you get a lot of things for crafts and then you have a lot of things left over and you don't know what you're going to do with them. And they just keep building up. So I decided to start incorporating more of them into projects, uh, stuff that I already have here. So hopefully you'll be able to do the same if you have these sitting around. Okay, so to begin, you want to take your jar and remove the lid. And you want to trace around this lid with a pen onto some aluminum foil because we're going to take this foil and put it inside this lid to reflect back up towards the candle that we're going to insert inside. So we're just going to go ahead and cut out what we traced. Okay, so once you have this circle cut out, you want to just insert it inside the lid. It's in there nicely. You don't even have to glue it because it'll just hold in place in there, which is nice. And then you just set this aside. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these doilies, these paper doilies, and we're going to cut the center out. You just make a slit into the center, and there's uh, the big middle part in the center here is what we're going to work on. And to do that, we just go around this middle. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make this circle here look like this in the end. So to do that, we need to cut some of this exterior off and do it in a, a systematic pattern. Now what I've done is I've gone pretty much every other um, thing that sticks out and I've trimmed it down till it looks like a snowflake. So I'm going to try to demonstrate how I did that. I'm going to start by um, taking this taking it where the point is and cut it down to the lace and back up and down to the lace back up to where these you see these two these two points here on there you want to do that every other one and leave a little point like this as you see on this one here and just work your way around the circle like that so you see how you just work your way around you leave the the part of the border on the top and the bottom of the snowflake then you do a pointed cut on an angle and then you do two on the side you leave these little loopy things and just trim around the loop things and you just repeat the process on the other side like I'm doing here snowflake and we're ready to put some bling on it like this one here has but before we do that I recommend cutting out all three snowflakes you're gonna need three of these so that means you'll need three doilies because you need the big piece in the center of each doily what's nice about these doilies is that they stick together so you might have like three of them and you might have cut them all at once anyway once you separate and you realize hey that's great I did three at one time and I don't have to cut them out separately um, so that's something to keep in mind and but once you get them separated and you actually have three snowflakes then it's time to 
put the um, glitter on. Now you can get these um, doilies, you know, from Amazon. I have a link below that leads you right to that. And also the glitter and the Mod Podge and the different things needed for this project will be listed below. And most of them you can get on Amazon, if not all of them. And I'll try to provide those links below for you to make it easier for you to find those things and to just go to it and get it. The jar, because this is an upcycle channel that I do, I did use this from uh, Jelly Jar. and But you can actually get these same jars on Amazon. I found them on there. Um, so I'll put the link below for those also make it easier for you. And same thing with these light up candles that we're going to put in the middle. These battery operated candles that you put in there. Okay, now to frost our flakes, so to speak, <laughs> um, what we'll do is we need some saran wrap, plastic wrap, and just put that on top of a piece of paper. Put your snowflake on the wrap. Take some Mod Podge and just Gently paint over top of the snowflake where you want the glitter to go. Try not to get it down through the hole so it doesn't get too stuck to the cellophane, the saran wrap. And just lightly put some Mod Podge all over the areas that you want the glitter to stick to. Um, and that way it'll be easier to get off the, the wrap if you try, try not to get it down through the holes too much. And once you have it all coated with the Mod Podge, then you want to take, I used white glitter and silver glitter and I alternated um, the layering of it on here as I sprinkled it. And I'll show you that. Um, so I have this glitter here and this glitter here, but you can get any of these type glitters um, either from the links below or you know Amazon or any craft store. But I like these because these actually look like snow, this particular, um, it's called Createology. And honestly, I don't remember where I got this, but if I find the link, I'll put it below. So you put this, the white on here, and then the silver, and then a little bit of white again. And then you're going to set aside your snowflake to dry. For about 15 20 minutes, it doesn't take long for the Mod Podge to dry. So, while that snowflake's drying, I have one here to demonstrate how you put it on the jar. And what you want to do is figure out the placement of where you want it on the jar. I find it best to put one in the front, one on the top, and one on the back. And you want to just, as you can see, this jar has sort of an indentation, so you want to cover that with a snowflake and just place it where you think it should, how you want it to look. And then just take Mod Podge on the back of the snowflake and just glue it right onto the jar like this. So. Okay, so now we have one on the front and on the back. We just need to put one across the top. And so the one that we did is dry by now. And just want to take this off the plastic wrap and just shake off the excess a little bit over the paper catching the extra glitter so you can reuse it. Just put that aside. And then you just want to glue this across the top to meet it on each edge like that. And then just Mod Podge that down and smooth it out. Have the top on. And after it dries, we can work on putting the extra jewels on to give it some more bling. Okay, so the next step is, as you see, these jewels are applied here. Um, I got these, I believe, from Dollar Tree last year. So I'll try to find the link to that and see if there's any on Amazon. If not, you can check out Dollar Tree and see if you can find some. But they're really nice for, for different projects. And um, so what we're doing here is we're going to start and just the, the rounded ones, we'll put that in the middle and just... Uh, make it look like a snowflake by adding it as you, you know, as you desire, but this is how I've done it. And so just cut the strips and the round off and stick them in a way that you think would make it look like a snowflake. And you would do that on the, both sides and on the top. Okay, so I would demonstrate peeling these off and sticking them on here if I got to tell you guys. I put these fake nails on because, <laughs> because my nails look horrible right now. 
and I wanted to do this for the video and make it look half decent for you guys, but I am no good with fake nails and they keep falling off. So I'm not even going to attempt to peel that off and stick these on right now, but you get the idea. And um, if you're enjoying this video, could you hit like, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, so moving right along, once you get the jewels applied, the next step will be to take this bottom that we put foil in and just put this on the jar first. Oops, yeah, okay. It puts the jar put on there. And so once you see how it's um, going to sit, then you want to take this tape, which I think I got this from Michael's, but I'm sure Amazon has it. If I find the link, I'll put it below. Anyway, and you want to cut it to size and wrap it around here. It's self-adhesive, but you might want to add a little extra glue to hold it on. But you don't want to glue it to the glass part, just this part, so that you can unscrew it, to add your candle, and to put it back on like that. Okay, so you don't want to you don't want to glue this tape, make this close the whole way. Okay, so you're just wrapping the tape around like this, and you just snip it where it needs to be in the back. Make sure that the, the seam is in the back of how you're going to have your canvas sitting. And then you have it where it's around the bottom. And then you just want it your, your last step is to take one of these nice candles that light up and you turn it on. You just put it inside here like this. And you have yourself a nice candle holder. Now, these are great for like if you're going to have a party and you want to put a bunch of these on the table, especially if you order, you get a box of 12 of these from Amazon, these little light up candles. And also, I should mention that you can, of course, do it the old fashioned way with a real candle inside. I'm not recommending that this jar is fireproof or whatever, but it is glass. Um, but if you want to do that where you don't even have a lid and you just want to have an open top, that's an option also. But I like the closed in look because I think it looks more like a real snowflake as far as like, um, it's just unique. So that's the way I did it this way. And I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. And thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet um, and you want to see upcoming videos, you can hit the subscribe button and the bell and it will alert you to upcoming videos. And to all my subscribers that have watched me and been loyally following me, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for that. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.